Mother son of a... Still got a lot of carrying in. Yeah, he's got a bit of weight to him. Okay. All right, this might be the fish we're looking for. Epic morning. Be careful in the dark. Part two. That guy's another actually packed old Dom's fishing adventures. Target species the snapper. <sighs> Always nervous for some reason when I go fishing in the morning. It's dark. Try to get to the spot. Just try to wipe for the soft plastic out. Don't see no fish down there, but. I can't always the fish on the sound. Right, so I've got a half, half a pilchard head. I think it's a size five hook. It's a little bean sinker just to get down there because the current will be moving around. There's a lot of swell. Just using pellets for, for burley. The fish on here, I'm trying to get the cameras going. This is on the little piece of pilchard. Now, I made a rule that I want to keep my drag on semi-tight. Uh, I don't like this uh, mucking around. I was putting up the, uh, the soft plastic as well, and that had a fish on. This is definitely real hooked. Oh, a target species. Not a keeper, but there you go. He did run like a snapper. Of course, he is a snapper. Let's get this guy sorted. All righty. There you go, first pinky for the day. And he's gone a modest 40 centimetres. Good on you, mate. Don't call your cousins. So to change my hook, I've sized it to a size six. Unfortunately, that snapper did swallow that other hook. It was more beneficial just to cut the line because it, yeah, unfortunately, it did go down the, his gullet. So I upgrade the hooks. No, there might be a few small ones out there. I don't want to throw out a lot of injured snappers and I've got some I've got some arches right here on the sounder so something is coming up I've already got two baits so I don't want to throw another one out I've got the soft plastic here and I've got the gang gang muleys there I just want to play with the soft plastic We'll see, a few taps. A nice oil slicker around here too. I'm just gonna pop this one out here. Oh, the gang's going off. Not pulling any line. Yeah, I'd say it's another medium sized snapper. You'd have to snap up. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, small one. Oh, there you go. Absolutely beautiful fish. On you, mate. Okay. Oh, f soft plastic took off. Knock around the camera, and you let go of it. I don't think it was a big one. Let's have a quick look. No teeth marks. All right, for now what I'm just going to catch fish. If the camera's on, the camera's on. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fish out there. Um, let's hope he didn't get spooked with that softy. You've got two baits out here. Got fish on the marker. Apologise for the rain. If the lenses get dirty, I try and clean them every now and then, but yeah, sometimes you just get distracted. Bit of trivial pursuit for you. Oh, and there's a big marker down here. Oh, yeah. yeah, so look at that. I might just work this soft plastic just a little bit, fire it up a bit. Here we go. Yeah, tiny ones. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, just barely on. Tiny. Now it's giving me some curry. 
I think she moved one on the bike. Could be a sand bike. Oh no, it's a, it's a skippy. Whoop. Oh, something happened there. It's not a bad Trevelli. Look at this. Now, this is on the full pilchard. It is half decent. Really, a lot of head shakes. Could be a sand bike, could be a target species. Just wondering what drag is that loose, or is it a big fish? Never mind the camera, Dom, just worry about the fish. Mother son of a bitch! Came off. Came off. That was a good sized fish. Um, only means one thing, there's going to be more out there. I mean, for the full gang. Don't know why he came off. I'm gonna have my drag on pretty tight these days and just, when I see that rod buckle over, just strike, set the hooks in. It was definitely a snapper. Because the head shakes, it was in fact, it felt like he came off and then he came back on it again. Yeah, um, son of a, don't worry. A lot of bird activity too around here. Don't know if there's a lot of bait fish getting popped up. Damsky. So I see a lot of more fish out here. Just like I'm playing computer games. <laughs> I don't want to see the fish on the sounder. I want to see the fish on the boat. That's exciting. I have to be patient. It's too early. The moon, uh, the tide is rising. There we go. Okay, here we go. There's something, something good here. Gotta watch out. Got the other line there. If you gonna cross here. Oh yeah. Definitely a snapper. Yep, six line. Might be um nice fish. Still got a lot of curry in him. Oh, he's actually just a bit under. Whew. Okay. Righto. Might just be a bit under this one. Oh, damn it. Come on, mate. 45, he's under. That's all right, good sign. Got another customer here. Good luck, mate, take it easy. No worries, mate. Okay, all right, this might be the fish we're looking for. It's on the half pilchard. Yeah, that's definitely the fish we're looking for. This is definitely the fish we are looking for. I put it there half pilchard with a good sauce sinker because it just wasn't getting any joy. Sorry about the camera angle. So, yeah, it's definitely a good size. <laughs> I winched him up. She shouldn't do. Go on the other side here. Try and keep that pressure on him all the time. Got the landing net this time. I was tied off for having a, a gaff. What's wrong with people though? Like living on the edge. Just want to see some colour. Oh, I see colour. Holy shit. I see colour. See that? Oh, yeah. That's a big specimen. 
Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> Did it again! <laughs> this fish make me cry. Did it again! Beautiful specimen. Soft passage weren't working. <laughs> Took the gangs off. Put a single size, a uh, six size beak hook. BK. Bean sinker. I was moving around on the water and I'm glad he got him right on the jaw. I'm not gonna throw this back. <laughs> I just love it when a plan works out. That's an awesome fish. I'm gonna hold on to him pretty tightly. I don't want to let him go by accident. But that there, let's measure him up. Yeah, 68 centimeter. Thank you, sir, for coming. <laughs> Woo! I love it. And now the sound is just going ballistic. You little ripper. You ripper. <laughs> just love it. So, lead him. Oh man, I'm actually shaking. That drilling and catching that fish. And I did everything right that time. And I'm glad I've got him on my good rod and reel. The Saltiga on a Spartan. I actually changed the leader to 40 pound because I had a 60, which was just a bit too big. And it just, it just floats around the water. It doesn't get down the bottom. It gets moved around the current. So, Lighter in a way is better. Just noticed that snapper was pretty nasty and he actually bit into that bean sinker and I find it very hard to move this up and down. So it actually saved <laughs> it actually saved the lead of this bean sinker. You can see that it's too shiny tight and it's a bit hard to actually move this up and down. So mate, they are yeah, strong teeth. I did realise that because he swallowed the hook, he, he could have actually bitten through the leader. So I was um, I was lucky that this bean sink actually saved that fish for me. What a way to start the day. Right, so it's time for me to change the soft plastic. They're just not going for that pink white one. Might go for the, uh, the pilchard imitation. Okay, that looks half all right. There you go. So that, that pilchard softy work is just moving it around. Um, just trying to feel, is he gonna be a good size one? I think so. Yeah, he's got a bit of weight to him. So it worked. Changed the uh, soft plastic to the pilchard. A bit more bigger. Yeah, he's definitely a good size. Oh my god. Yeah. I was just moving it. And it did, it did initiate the strike. Where we got here? Oh, it's a sandboy. Oh my god. It's a decent sized sandboy. No, that's not good. <laughs> oh, let's get him by the leader. Right, oh, and he swallowed it too. There you go. Sandboy on the soft plastic. He almost swallowed it too. Oh my, look at that. Spaghetti. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thought it was another spinky. You're right. Awesome. Oh, he just smashed it. Mind you, I was moving it. So the blue pilchard, soft plastic, cast him out. Just 
slip it in your rod holder every now and then, give it a few flicks. Here we go. Here we go. This is a snapper. <laughs> oh, this is a snapper. I got a brand new uh, reel. It's you know not bad one. It's not special. The pen. Strong as. Your line's more important. Righty. Sure. Looks like I have to land him on the other side. This could be a really good one, this one. Let's go for a walk. Oh man. Just reel him up, they. Oh, I see the colour. That always gets you exciting when you can see <laughs> the flash. He's a good pinky. Oh, good pinky. Oh, yeah. Woo! Way to go. Woo! That's not bad, isn't it? <laughs> You know, this one here I will let go because I already got the one in the bag and it's hoops for me. This is an awesome fish. Let me get this, let me get this uh, sorted out. Right, so I quickly take him off. You don't have him out of the water too long. Yeah, good fish. Quickly measure him up. Just out of curiosity. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, 62 centimetre. Yeah, beauty. Thanks, matey. Let's see if he's... Oh, and he swam good. Oh, love it. Awesome. So what an epic morning. Got the two snappers. I threw one back because one's enough. And uh, yeah, no, it was great. Two snappers, one on the soft plastic, the other on the bait. Let's get out of here. Go home for a cook up. was the saddest part of the day. <laughs> Going home. Yeah. Whew. Right, so there's, there's the wings or the gill plates. Full of meat. Absolutely full of meat. Alrighty. Time for the cook up. It's night time, I've got the light here on my camera, hopefully you'll be able to see everything, but I've got all this abundance and I'll be keeping some for lunch tomorrow, but I've got the snapper fillet here with the skin on, beautiful, I've got the actual frame, I'm going to grill that, plenty of meat off that, and the wings, to me, the best bit of the fish, absolutely delicious. I went to the pump for time, just going to chuck it on the hot grill, we're going to start marinating it and start cooking. First thing I'll do, I want to try a bit of this bourbon, bourbon marinade, just a touch. There you go. Oh, it smells good. Heaps of salt all over the place. Down here. Very simple spices. A bit of black pepper. Got a little bit of chili. Just gotta be careful. It spits out way too fast. And some ground ginger. It's got a good flavour for fish. But it does lose a lot of flavour on the barbie, so 
bit more salt. I think that's pretty good for you. Of course, a bit of olive oil. Right, first thing to go on, the wings. Nice, beautiful fish. Grilling of the fish fillet. Get some oil. Just wipe it on here. You can hear that sizzle. In fact, I want to put it that way. Yummo. Go. Ooh. Time to put this on. Look at that. Straight on the barbie. Probably ready in about one, one and a half of these. See the flesh heat starting to turn white. It's creeping up. I need the majority of the heat on the skin side and then flip it over. There's nothing worse than overcooked fish. That's looking great. The wings. <laughs> so I've got a bit of a trick. Nice. Extra flavour. Oh, that's a good drop. So it's ready for this guy to be turned over. Yeah, just the way I like it. Not quite crispy. That's fine. These guys are going pretty good. Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. So we're getting a bit of meat already starting to come off. Yeah, it's getting there. Not quite. Won't take long. Still a little bit rare around here. I'm going to flip it back again. It's been gentle. Starting to pry apart like that, so look at the cracks. Definitely a sign it's just about there. there. You can see what right through it, it's all white and delicious and juicy. Yummo. On the plate up, I reckon. Yeah, it's definitely done. Okay, let's uh, play it up and try some of this taco. So let's try this fish. Nice big fish fillet. You can see that. It's absolutely steaming. It's white and fresh. Superb. One thing I forgot. Just a squeeze of lemon. That is delicious, and the bourbon on that is fantastic. I'm gonna go for the wing to show you how much flesh is on that. Look at that absolute bounty of fresh, beautiful fish. You do not want to waste this. Oh, oh, it's the best part of the fish, I reckon. Really soft and juicy. Fantastic, and I'm just going to pick away at this frame just to show you. Look how much, look how much beautiful fish tuckers on that. And all the flesh around the bone is always tasting the better. Juicy, succulent, and sweet. I'm not going to have no leftovers for tomorrow. I'm going to hone in it tonight. If you like the show, make sure you subscribe and like it, give us a comment. See you next time. Bon appetit. Fish. Take it easy. Ducker. Fish. Ducker. Fish. Ducker, man. Fish. Ducker. Fish. Ducker. The fish. Ducker, man.